Zach. You're watching a Visual Components Showcase video by Roll Robotics. Visual Components is a 3D simulation software that helps you to visualize and simulate your production line in a virtual environment. In today's video, we're going to show you what Visual Components can do. What we're looking at right now is a simulated factory layout that produces two kinds of products. Mind you, the simulation you're about to see is sped up, if not it's a little bit too slow. This is the first production line that we're going to be looking at. Now that the simulation has begun, firstly, we can see a mobile robot replenishing the production line, bringing in a basket of green boards, and a forklift bringing in a pallet full of raw products. Next, a robot that's mounted on a robot positioner moves the raw material onto a CNC machine to be processed. It is then placed onto a conveyor to be assembled with a green board. We can see it being welded together and lastly, a human puts the final product into a box. Jumping on to the next production line, the product this time is a cylinder. I'm using a cylinder for illustration purposes but we could replace this with anything. After the material is processed, the product moves into a machine called the box filler to be packaged. A robot puts the packed products into a carton box. In visual components, the robots can be programmed to stack products into boxes. It then goes to the human that would tape the box up and transfer it to a shelf await shipping. Going back to production line 1, we can see that the pallet of raw products has been emptied. The robot transfers the pallet onto a special conveyor that would send the pallets to the end of the production line. When the box is filled up, a human tapes the box up and loads it onto a pallet. And lastly, a forklift picks it up and loads it onto the shelf. Moving on, we can access the statistical data of each component in this model. Here we are looking at uh, parts produced against time. We can look at the mobile robot and forklift utilization rates to see if you really need them, uh, human utilization rate, a box produced, robot utilization rate, and much more. There are much more statistical data that you could view depending on your needs. Now, here we have an automation study model. On the left, we have a model that processes a state of task using humans. And on the right, the tasks are fully automated using robots and conveyors. The item goes into a lathe machine to be processed. It then proceeds into a coordinate measuring machine to check its dimensions. And lastly, it's transported out on a tray as a completed product. Here, the tasks are the same. The only difference between the two is that the other one is operated by human operators while this is fully automated. After about an hour of simulation, we can get the statistical data for each layout. Here we can see that the human operated layout is producing 34 parts an hour while the automated layout is producing about 60, 36 parts an hour. Uh, these are not the only statistical data that we can look at. Going to the statistics tab, we can go to uh, idle interval to see which robots are working harder, which humans are working more. Human travel distance to see how far they walk. Machine usages to see if machines are utilized well. And these are not the only data that we have access to, there are much more. 
This data can be exported to Excel for further analysis to improve your model. Visual components comes in handy if you are looking to optimize your production line and are trying to visualize what it will look like. Uh, it's also good if you want to assess if, if the investment to automate is worth it. Now, the purpose of this model is to demonstrate how different layouts affect the productivity of a factory floor. Here, we are looking at layouts 1, 2 and 3. They have the same exact machines and processes, the only difference being the placements of the machines. By looking at this, you probably couldn't tell which layout is the best. Likewise, Model 4 and 5 have the same machines and processes, the only difference being its layout. After an hour of simulation, we could get some stable results. Here, we can clearly see that layout 3 is superior, producing the most numbers of parts per hour. And between layout 4 and 5, Layout 4 produces the most number of parts per hour. Visual Components allows you to simulate hundreds of layouts to find out the one that's the most efficient without having to spend a dime to do real-world testings. In this industry, space is also limited, so it could be used to find out how we can optimize the space for maximum productivity. Now, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.